Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at how you can display and use vertex color in Character Creator, which allows us to render vertex colors in CC as well as enhance the AccuRig workflow. Let's begin by exploring vertex color and textures. I'll start off with this character on the screen that has been painted via the PolyPaint workflow. First, we'll want to click on the All button in order to send the whole character to Character Creator. Note in the import window that there are currently no textures defined. We'll come back to that a bit later. Once it's imported, you'll want to go to the Scene panel and switch Display Mode to Smooth so that we can see the vertex color displayed. Here you also have the option to use AccuRig to bind the skeleton of your character so that it can be animated and rendered without the need to bake textures. If we go to the Materials tab of the Modify panel, we can see that each of the meshes has been assigned a PBR shader so that we can also bake textures in ZBrush or other 3D software and import them to Character Creator. For example, ZBrush can easily bake vertex colors into textures. It's important to note that the resolution of the vertex color results will depend on the number of vertices in the model, so those with higher surface complexity will lead to more detailed vertex color results. To start off, use the UV Master plugin to unwrap the UV map, which I've already done in this case. Once that's done, you can expand the UV map section and click on the Morph UV button to see the UV result. Next, under Texture Map, click the New from Poly Paint button to bake the texture from the vertex color. Repeat that process for all of your other subtools, and then once again click on All to export the updated character to Character Creator. Now in the Import window, you'll see that there are 2K textures that are defined, and if we go to the Materials tab once again, you'll see the base color maps have all been assigned with the textures we just baked in ZBrush. Next, let's take a quick look at how we can use vertex color information to mark certain hard meshes that we don't want to be included when we use AccuRig to bind our character skeleton. In this case, we're going to mark various accessories on this character, such as his sword, gun, and jewelry. To do so, I'll change the color to red, select each individual subtool, and then choose Fill Object from the color menu at the top. Once that's done, then I can send all back to Character Creator and activate the Smooth Display mode to see the meshes that we marked in red. This makes it easier for us to determine which accessories we don't want to include when we get to the Bind Skin step in AccuRig. Once we get through the initial rig generation process, all we need to do then is toggle all of the red marked accessories as invisible before we bind the skin, so that these rigid meshes don't conform along with the character mesh. Another way that you can use vertex colors is to help define the joints of your character model when you import it into AccuRig. What I'm doing here is quickly marking all of the major joints on my character's body with a red border. This is not totally necessary, but it can be used as a useful reference when you want to define joint positions in the initial step of AccuRig's rig creation. As you can see, when I import it into Character Creator and enter into AccuRig, I can use these reference lines to more accurately place the markers which will define my character's skeletal rig. Those are just a couple of ways in which you can utilize vertex color in ZBrush to help with your production workflow in Character Creator to achieve the best results. Be sure to check out our other ZBrush Pipeline tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video.